Hello friends, test of hypothesis about the difference between two means. Suppose we want to test if two independent samples xi and yi, xi and yg where i is equal to 1 to n and g is equal to 1 to n2 of sizes n1 and n2 have been drawn from two normal populations with mean mu1 with mean mu x and mu y respectively under the null hypothesis that the samples have been drawn from the normal population with a mean mu x and mu y and under the assumptions that the population variances are equal that is sigma x square is equal to sigma y square is equal to sigma so say then the statistics will be okay so uh, difference of between two means okay difference between two means where uh, the parameter of interests are mu x and mu y okay uh, level of significance is 0 0.05 now if it is for null hypothesis mu x is equal to mu y and alternative hypothesis mu x is not equal to mu y so for two tail test we have to use this one for right tail test a0 mu x is equal to mu y and for alternative mu x is greater than mu y for left tail test a0 mu x is equal to mu y and mu x is less than mu y now under a0 under a0 the test statistic is is mu uh, x bar minus y bar by s 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 okay where where x bar is equal to 1 by n1 xi that is a mean and y bar is equal to 1 by n2 summation of yi okay now to calculate s square we may follow this one so 1 by n1 plus n2 minus 2 okay summation of xi minus x bar square plus summation yg minus so it is a y bar square okay if variances are there then we can write n1 plus n2 minus 2 n1 minus 1 is x square plus n2 minus 1 is y square okay and here degree of freedom here degree of freedom is n1 plus n2 minus 2 okay now example 1 sample of two types of electric bulbs were tested for length of life and following data were obtained so sample size n1 is equal to 8 n2 is equal to 7 sample mean x1 bar is equal to 1 2 3 4 hour and x2 bar is 1 0 3 6 hours sample standard deviations uh, sample standard deviation 36 hour and s2 is 40 hours okay so it's a type 1 and it is type 2 now the question is is the difference in the mean sufficient to warrant that type 1 is superior to type 2 regarding the length of life okay now these are given these are given to us so null hypothesis null hypothesis is what uh, mu1 is equal to mu2 assume population parameter mu1 is a mean lifetime of type 1 and mu2 is the mean type life life, life uh, length of the uh, life length of type 2 okay and alternative hypothesis is what mu1 is greater than mu2 so here mm -hmm. we are applying right tail test now we have to calculate the t statistic now here degree of freedom is n1 plus n2 minus 2 that means 8 plus 7 minus 2 that means 13 now so we have okay. to calculate t cal so 1 2 3 4 minus 1 0 3 x okay so here uh, uh, we have to calculate the s square 
okay so s square s square that is 1 by 8 plus 7 minus 2 okay then 8 minus 1 into 36 square plus 7 minus 1 into 40 square okay and if you solve it its value is okay its value is 1436.308 okay and we have to calculate the t cal so t cal is 1 so we have to remove this one 1 2 3 4 minus 1.36 okay so if you enter into this s square so 1 by 7 plus 1 by 8 okay so 1 2 3 4 minus 1 0 3 6 one four three six point three zero eight one by seven plus one by eight. Okay, and its value is ten point zero nine four. Okay. Now tabulated value. So it's a right tail test. So uh, alpha is equal to assume zero point zero five degree of freedom is say 13 okay so 8 plus 7 minus 2 and so it is right tail test so t um, alpha in my in 1 plus in 2 minus 2 t 0 0.05 comma 13 okay and you can see here degree of freedom is 13 so if it is 13 and 0 0.05 means 1.771 okay so here the value is 1.771 and our calculated value is 10.94 so some here here 10 10.94 10.094 10.094 okay so since the calculated value is much greater than the tabulated value it is highly significant that significant and injury is rejected hence the two types of electric bulbs differ significantly okay and further since x1 bar is much greater than x2 bar we conclude that type 1 is definitely superior to type 2 next now prt test dependent samples or partial samples so what is dependent samples or partial par paired samples if each observation in one sample is associated with some particular observation in the other sample then it is called dependent sample or paired sample in paired t-test we collect random samples of pairs and the two measurement associated with a pair will be related to each other we use paired t-test in situation like before and after type experiments for example before applying any medicine and after applying medicine comparing two training methods same person test two different types of tea etc okay suppose here in peer t test suppose uh, a pop set of students are there okay say student one student two student in now suppose you want to implement a particular training session so training training session so we want to check whether this particular training session is effective or not so before applying the training session we just check the IQ level of the students and after applying the training sessions we just check the IQ level of the students and from the difference from the difference of these two IQ level we can check whether this particular training session is effective or not okay so here iq1 is for the student one so here the populations population is same okay so the mu1 mu1 and mu2 both are taken from the same population not from the difference population in the previous case now in the previous difference of two means we just take two populations say population one and population two where the means are mu1 and mu2 and we check whether they are different or same or whatever may be now in this case the population is same Okay, similarly we want to check any particular medicine is effective or not okay so what you can do 
suppose we just take some patients are there patient 1 patient 2 patient 3 before applying the MACD medicine we may check the blood pressure of that okay and the medicine is to reduce the blood pressure and after after applying the medicine uh, from the uh, uh, for the same patients you have to calculate the blood pressure once again okay and we just check the whether the medicine is particular medicine is effective or not okay <coughs> so in PRT test mu1 and mu2 uh, that is nothing but our um, parameter of interest okay alpha say 0.05 or 0.01 or 0.1 whatever may be okay now null hypothesis for two tail test mu1 is equal to mu2 in the alternative mu1 is not equal to mu2 similarly for right tail test mu1 is equal to mu2 and alternative mu1 is greater than mu2 for the left tail test mu1 is equal to mu2 and mu1 is less than mu2 okay uh, let us now consider the case when the sample sizes are equal say n1 is equal to n2 plus equal to n and the two samples are not independent but the sample observations are paired together that is the pairs of observation xi and yi so xi and yi where i is equal to 1 to n uh, corresponds to this uh, corresponds to the sense ith sample okay ith sample so samples are there uh, corresponding to the uh, sense ith sample unit the problem is to test if the sample means differ significantly or not okay so here we uh, uh, here under 80 the t statistic is d bar by s square root of n or d bar s square by n where d bar is the mean okay so d bar is the mean so already you know how to calculate the mean okay and what is standard deviation variance it is n minus 1 di minus d bar square okay and what is d d is nothing but the difference d is nothing but the difference difference is what xi minus phi that means this minus this is equal to d1 this minus this is equal to d2 so on it is dn okay and degree of freedom is n minus 1 is the degree of freedom okay now example in a certain experiment to compare two types of animal foods A and B, the following results of increase in weights were observed in animals. Okay. So you can see here two types two types of foods are there, food A and food B. Okay. Now eight animals are there. So uh, after applying food A, the increasing increase weight in first uh, of first animal is 49 second animal is 53 third animal is 51 so total is 407 say after a few few days after after few after few months we apply the second food to the same uh, animals so after applying the food b uh, the increase of the increase weight of animal 1 is 52 animal 2 is 55 and so on so total increase is 43 so the question is can you conclude that food b is better than food a okay now here the 423 is more than 407 so can you say that food b is more than food a so here we have to apply prt test clear so here food a and food b parameter of interest assume level of significant 0 0.05 okay and um, null hypothesis mu a is equal to mu b and alternative hypothesis mu a is less than mu b so here we have we have applied left tail test okay so to check whether food b is better than food a or not now we have to calculate the t calculation so d bar s square by n okay so what is s square s square is the variance of the t n is the sample size d is the xy minus yy so we have to calculate this one 
so what is x x are 49 53 51 and so on y 52 55 52 and so on so you have to calculate the d d is what 49 minus 52 that is minus 3 53 minus 55 minus 2 51 minus 52 minus 1 52 minus 53 minus 1 so d values are these are the d values okay and you have to calculate the mean so the mean value is minus 2 so for this particular problem mean value is minus 2 okay and we have to calculate the variance and the variance value is 1.714 okay 1.714 so we have to calculate the t cal so d bar is minus 2 by 1.714 by n what is n n is the total number of uh, total number of animals so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so n is equal to 8 8 and if you solve it then value is 4.32 okay now it is a left tail test left tail test means already you know it is left tail test so t alpha n1 minus 1 n minus 1 alpha is equal to assume 0 0.1 and it is 8 minus 1 7 so t 0 0.05 and 7 okay so we can see here degree of freedom 7 and it is 0 0.05 which is 1.895 so minus 1.895 okay because the, these values are given from 0 to this okay so it's a, since it is a symmetry so from for, to get this particular value you just uh, 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 append minus sign before the data before the value so uh, our value is minus 4.32 and the calculated or table value is minus 1.89 since our calculated value is less than the table value hence we reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that food b is superior to and that is the end of this particular video